it's Memorial Day, and so it's kind of time for some little patriotic type block. So I've chosen one called Whirlwind Flag, and it's kind of fun, but it does present some challenges in sewing it together. Hi, this is Penny Halburn from QuiltBlockLibrary.com and QuiltBlockLibrary.tv. Here's a picture of the block, and I'm going to use some strip sewing techniques to piece the patches together. And then also, this is going to get sewn together as triangles, which may be kind of surprising, but I think that you'll find it very easy once you see how it's all broken down. So why don't you come join me over at the cutting table, and we'll get started. This is our pattern, and these are the templates. I've already cut out the triangle, which is this bottom triangle here, and the little squares that are going to go in the center. So I've got these three pieces, which represent these guys. And what I want to do is sew these red and white strips together so that I can cut this out as one entire unit. And because it's kind of an odd shape, I want to be able to have a template to do that. So what I'm going to do is glue these, is cut these out and glue them together, and that way I'll have the shape that I need to use to cut that piece out. Now I've got strips cut and what I'm going to need to do is sew, strip, sew units together so that I've got red, white, red and then another, unit, another set of units that's going to be white, red, white. So I'll just start by sewing a strip of red and white together I'll, I'll do two units like that, and then I'll do, I'll add a, another white strip to one and a, another red strip to the other. So now I have these two different strip units sewn together, and I'm going to put one to the side here and get my little template out. This is the white, red, white one, which is right here, and I've got my template and I need four of them because there's one on each side so one two three four now my template is without seam allowances so I want to make sure when I put it on my fabric that I'm centering it and then when I cut it I'll put my ruler so that I add on the quarter of an inch and you can actually center your strip, so you can see the red strip goes on both ends of this B template. And then, I'll put the ruler down here and line it up and then just cut it off. And then what I need to do is cut this part off. So I'll just turn my ruler around so that this grid line is lined up with the template piece and I can just cut off the strip with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So now I have one piece. And then what I can do is simply turn this template around and position it so that it's a quarter of an inch away from the edge where I just cut and line up the center again. Place my ruler so that it's a quarter of an inch away from the template and then cut that off. That gives me two and then I can just turn this around and continue to cut them turning the template around so you take advantage of as much of the fabric as, as you have. And now that I've got four of those pieces cut I'll just take my other strip and do the same thing. So I need four of this color combination as well. So now I have my block and I've got my four center pieces here. And what I need to do is sew a red, white, red strip onto each one of these squares. Now I've got all the pieces laid out and what I'm going to do is just pull a section apart here to show you how I'm going to sew this together. So what I'll do is start by just sewing this piece to this, 
Now we've got these two sections sewn together in each one of the parts. So I'll just add this bottom triangle to each one of the sections. Now we've got each one of these quarters sewn together. And so we'll just attach two and then two and then we'll be ready to sew the seam across the whole lock. Now I chain sewed these together so they're still stuck together. I can open them up and I want to check and be sure that the pattern is still according to the design on the quilt block, which I think it is. And then all I need to do is fold this over and these are all lined up. So then I just need to nestle the seam allowances in, sew the center seam and the block will be finished. This whirlwind flag quilt block is all finished and ready for a quilt. Or you could add a border on it, or two or three borders, and make it into a wall hanging. I hope you've enjoyed watching sewing this together. It looked like it would be very complicated, and there are a lot of pieces, but using some strip piecing techniques, you can shortcut uh, your sewing it together, and sewing it together as triangles really is the way to go. Thanks for joining me. This is Penny Hallgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.tv and quiltblocklibrary.com. If you're not already there, head on over to quiltblocklibrary.com and get your free download of this pattern. There are tons of other free quilt block patterns there, as well as patterns you can pay for. They come in all different sizes and ready for you to cut out the templates and sew your quilt together. Thanks again. Peaceful piecing.